Jack has now finished uh, planing out the front of this. So we've uh, taken quite a lot of care to make sure it's right. And it feels it's quite stiff, but it's got a bit of movement to it. Uh, it's fairly light, but it's just just lovely. This is I can tell this is going to be good. You can sort of feel it as you move it round. It's just really lively. So I think this is going to be a really nice uh, base. So next thing's base bar. Now, uh, it's quite a complicated process, the base bar. I, there is actually a whole series of stuff we've done on it, if you're interested to, to find out more. But just quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put quite a hard base bar in here. Because as I say, this is uh, fairly light. It just kind of feels like a hard base bar is going to give it some extra punch and strength. So yeah, I'm not going to sort of hold back with that because the wood, is, it was, the wood itself is fairly light. So um, I think by the time we've combined those two things, it will be uh, really good. So let's go and have a look and see if we can pick out a base bar for it. This is some like a small selection of the base bars we've got. We've got loads of them. Uh, reason being is I like to have lots of options and I like them to be seasoned properly as well. So. If you buy them from somewhere, even they, they say they're seasoned, they could not be as seasoned as they think, potentially. So yeah, I like to leave them to dry for a while. Um, there's some of these ones over here are a bit wild. Uh, the reason they're kind of hanging around, although that's got amazing hazel pine figure in it. <whistles> See, this, might, this would probably make a really nice brace, actually, for something else. It's gorgeous wood, but it's very light. So that's completely unsuitable for what we're doing. And the reason there's kind of ended up being a few of them over here is that they are not used that often. So they kind of, you can see I've been working away at this pile, or we have, and um, it's, uh, it's kind of gradually getting to where there's some of the other stuff. So I have to be able to clear out and decide what's going to be braces and stuff. We'll have a look th through a few of these. So this one, um, although it's got quite a tight grain, it's very light, it's no good. Uh, and this one, now this is a bit heavier. It's got a really nice hazel pine figure. Um, it's a bit of a tricky shape. I would be able to squeeze one out of that, but I don't want to do that in this base. Now you can see again, amazing figure. Look at that. Um, you know, hazel pine. I often think you get two kinds. You get you can get where it makes the wood really hard, or it could be quite soft as well, depending on uh, what the sort of structure of the wood is like. But that's quite a soft piece. Now this one is looking pretty interesting. Um, but again, it's a bit of a bit of a side chunk. Um, that feels pretty nice. So that's an option there. So I'm just going to pop that here for a minute. Um, this one also looks very nice. Yeah, that's the one. Right. So again, you can see it's quite fine grain. I can feel from I picked it up, and it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty solid. It's got lovely modulary rays uh, in there. I don't know if Bora can show you that right in there you can see it's see the little sort of stripes there's like little tiny stripes this way that's where the fibers of the wood are uh, connecting everything together there's a little bit of hazel pine figure here and here so this is this is pretty hard uh, and it's going to be really it's, but it's really high quality wood very very sort of vibrant wood so uh, I'm gonna go with um, go with that one I think so we'll plane it up and have a look and I'll get it fitted.
Thank you. 